The following is a fan based narrative. Please support the official release. Hey guys, if we reach a thousand likes, we'll be giving out two of our new shirts. All you gotta do is click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You guys remember when shows used to have holiday episodes near or at least on the day of the holiday? Yeah, I miss those days. Heck, I, at this point I would settle for them actually having a consistent airing cycle without constant leaks. Tony's voices fill the night, hearts warming, Eve is here once again. Come on every creature, sing! The town, known for spontaneous songs, refuses to sing along during the holiday where it would make sense for them to have spontaneous songs. I love Heartswarming Eve! It's all about friends, and presents, and family, and PRESENTS! Spike's like what? 18? 20? Jesus, it's been at least three years just from how many Heartswarming Eves we've seen. Actually, I think it's been four. And he still acts like a child, despite going through puberty, apparently. Oh, is that why you put their fire of friendship on top of the tree to help us remember their unity? No, they do it because ponies are dumb, and they put fire on top of a Christmas tree. <laughs> I think you'll all enjoy the time off to be home with your families, to celebrate your own traditions. The school of friendship encourages everyone not just to celebrate differently, but to do so separately, because nothing says friendship like ignoring your friends on the holidays. It's that new bow tie I wanted, isn't it? You'll have to wait and see. Knowing Twilight is probably just a book. Isn't that what she always gets him? But I'm really glad it's not something fragile. That being said, it's also weird that they had all their presents and personal effects in the lounge where they have all the students waiting. They don't live in the school. They built the school. They live in a castle with a bunch of empty rooms. So why is the Christmas trees and all their presents in the school building? And by the way, none of these presents have labels, but that's just par for the course with MLP. Oh, I thought the gag commercials were over with, but I guess I was wrong. My little pony, my little pony. Skip. <laughs> Twilight covers herself, but not Spike, because Twilight is a dick to Spike. Rainbow Dash also somehow gets away ungacked, leading me to believe the show writers really do just not like Spike for some reason. And with the amount of times ponies seem to be covered in goo, I'm pretty sure this is like someone's fetish or something. And I don't think it was an accident. Some pony was up here. No, you don't say it's not an accident, because normally whole my stuff splooches randomly too. The back door's locked! No way out! But whoever did it had to have come in here. We saw them! Why? They have magic! They could teleport away! Maybe they turned invisible, shapeshifted. Magic makes this all impossibly difficult. Spike, you can open your eyes. What? Oh! Uh, what about me? You all can. <laughs> She's a teacher. I want you all to keep that in mind. Rainbow Dash is a teacher. She molds young minds, and this is the peak level of her intelligence. And once we find out who did it, just you wait. We're gonna, we'll... Telling them the punishment will 100% call for them to actually admit to doing the crime. All right, let's get to the bottom of this. Who wants to be interviewed first? Uh, I'll go. Beats mop duty. Yet, the guilty one goes first, lies to the administration and his friends, but will receive no punishment. Because why would he? This is MLP. Attempted genocide is rewarded with free room and board. Thirsty? Dive into some holiday punch. <laughs> so change things are this dumb, and that's really surprising. Because even ponies show a level of competence higher than this. Which really begs the question, why is Ocellus such a studious person? Carols, 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 carols! <laughs> <laughs> you might have misunderstood things just a little. 
how can you tell? She only said what she did, which is exactly what it would sound like anyone would do. Did you also somehow see the flashback like we did? Cats and family pick out perfect smashing lock. Then yak smash it! <laughs> <laughs> What a beautiful culture. You can really tell they're not just a destructive, primitive race. Once upon a time, there was this sad little dragon. Her name was Scales. Really showing that $200 plus thousand dollar budget per episode with that dragon name. I mean, that was really creative. Scales thought it would be so easy to seize power from this feeble and sensitive dragon lord. She saw her chance and took it! I'm not sure what the moral is supposed to be. It's not exactly funny. And it just comes off as really telling kids that you shouldn't be soft-hearted. She's never really criticized for this. She's just kind of accepted it's just being a fat, so... And wouldn't the current dragon lord like hear this story and then immediately turn and kill the guy who told it? Because it's insinuating that the dragon lord is weak and that he'll be overthrown or that dragon lords in general are weak. So this really doesn't seem like a story that a dragon would tell if they cared about the longevity of their life. School of friendship, good place for pony to a pony holiday. That's racist. And? My doll hit the floor, but it could have gone in the fire. That story was just as exciting as this episode, which leads me to believe that the writers unironically thought that they had a good joke here, which is a sin in of itself. Next! Smolder, come with me. Yona, Twilight's waiting for you. Wait, since when did they start interviewing people separately? Had they been doing that the whole time, they would have been done way earlier. And also, it's probably just better and smarter than doing it individually. There's a book? Mm-hmm. Queen Novo had these made for the Mount Eris Board of Tourism to explain it all to guests. A whole book? Not just like a pamphlet or something? You expect people to read an entire book when you just explain it to us in like 30 seconds. What does the book even say? Now, now I'm really curious what possibly could be told in that book. Wait, hold on. C cousins What are those? Your aunts and uncles' children? You know, part of your family. How has she never heard this term? Not only does she take equestrian history, where they probably would have gone over cousins and brothers and sisters, etc. He just doesn't understand the word, but speaks equestrian? Seeing as how they don't have their own separate language, they're going to share the same vocabulary. And while the cultures may differ, if they're tied together by the common language, then they should understand what these terms mean. I also just pretty much find it completely implausible that he just hasn't heard of that the entire time he's been here. ...to eat and then complain about the food and give each other presents they don't like and mostly just try not to yell at each other. Wasn't Gabby like super happy and stuff? Now she's all depressed? Or is this memory somehow before she met the CMC? Which, to be honest, before she even met the CMC, she was already so happy. And that calls into question when this episode took place, or rather when the memory took place, because he looks the same age. We kinda guessed it was you, but we wanted to give you the chance to tell the truth. Wait, you, you knew it was him, and you still put everyone else through it. What happens if they did confess to cover for him? Would he get into more trouble or less? Would that prove that they understand what it is to be a friend? Or would it say that because they weren't being honest, that, that they actually don't understand what it means to be a friend? But you're still gonna have to make amends, and stay over break for extra friendship lessons by yourself. <laughs> he actually gets punished, but Starlight doesn't. I... Uh, I struggle to understand the moral implications of this. I'm staying! What? Alright, I guess pony holidays can't be that bad. Because peer pressure is friendship. Since you obviously know that hearts warming is about coming together, I'd be honored if all of you would join my friends as guests at our holiday table. Never mind, nothing of consequence was done. I almost forgot what show I was watching for a second there. Heartwarming! Eve is here once again! It's fucking August! <laughs>